Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, right, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the upcoming week of Mutt content. Now, I've been doing this video for a few weeks now, and you guys have seemed to really enjoy it. One of the more popular videos that I've been making, so I am excited to make this. I do enjoy making it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of like a weekly forecast. Now, someone did recommend that maybe I do a weekly recap and then a re weekly forecast but i haven't decided yet on how i'm going to format that all yet but as far as the weekly forecast i do enjoy doing this on sunday it's always fun now in terms of what to be expecting now guys the thing with this week is that we do have a ongoing seasonal promo so that is going to be affecting part of how we should be seeing this week because the weekly content will still be there as per usual but you have to throw the the um the seasonal content in there as well now before we get into the video guys we go over everything Make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, come join the family. And for the uh, for the Poodle Squad today, make sure to below, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, if you haven't already, turned on that noti bell. Now for today's Poodle Squad shout out, it goes to Grim the Giant. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you for showing support each and every day. Thanks so much. Now moving on, guys, if you do need coins for this upcoming week for most fear or anything else, head over to my reserve down below. You just go Poodle 15% off and take advantage of this kind of coins. Now moving into this, so, what can we be expecting today, potentially? Potentially today, a surprise LTD. Stay on the lookout for that. If there is one, I'll throw it into this video. But stay on the lookout for a surprise LTD because they did do that last year on Sunday. Now, moving on to Monday. Monday, do expect most feared promo part two. Now, what to expect for tomorrow is that most feared part two, because there's four parts. It's part one, two, three, and four. Now, the thing is, what we expect for parts one, two, three, and four are going to be the big, you know, the big sets, of course. But, I mean... I do expect Scary Strong first tomorrow because first off it makes sense for him to put Scary Fast last because Scary Fast is going to be the more dominant players of the promo as well as the longer lasting players of the promo so in terms of like least the greatest they start with the Scary Sharp, the Scary Strong and then the Scary far, uh, Fast. Now there are four parts of this promo so I did expect maybe Scary Tall again this year but the only issue with that is that I it could be like last year's format where there's three parts it's going to be Scary Fast, Scary Strong, Scary um, Sharp. And then part four could be like a new solo sequence or a new house rules or like something new to do a currency, a new set. So I don't know yet. Or, or an LTD match or something like that. But for Monday, guys, that's tomorrow. We can expect another scary something drop. Now, I do expect... I'm expecting scary strong. So for scary strong, guys, who can we be expecting? What can you be expecting? I think Aaron Donald will fall into scary strong. I don't know if it'll be the LTD or if he'll be an LTD or if he'll just be the master. But there's also past scary strong masters. Who could be a scary strong master for the past? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know who would be a good one. Larry Allen, maybe. Like a Larry Allen would be super cool. Uh, but for more than likely, we're seeing Aaron Donald, is what I'm expecting. Because for scary sharp, we got one pass, one future. Oh, sorry, one pass, one current. So Aaron Donald more than likely will fit into that. And they did reveal Aaron Donald as one of the guys that's coming. So I can't see him being in scary fast. Again, he's either gonna be an LTD, like on a Sunday, or he's going to be the master. Now, coming in, uh, well, also Monday, guys, I'll be doing my Team of the Week predictions, so stay tuned for that. So, we got Team of the Week predictions tomorrow, and we got uh, Most Fear Part 2. Now, Tuesday, what can you guys be expecting? Team of the Week. So, of course, we're getting Team of the Week uh, 7. Now, this is important because this is the thing. Team of the Week 4 was a 90 overall. Team of the Week 5 was a 91. Team of the Week 6 was a 91 as well, which means we will be getting the 92 overall cards for Week 7. Now, that's important because that does indicate an increase in overall which makes the players even better for us of course now the thing with this is they're gonna get of course we get the ltds we get we get some big players here because we get an ltd we get two heroes and we get the current hero so four new players all 92 gonna be super useful at 92 overalls of course especially at the current state of the game now who will it be of course we don't know haven't watched sunday games yet it's not even time yet to watch those but that's exciting moving on to wednesday I do. We will be getting wildcard Wednesday now for wildcard Wednesday. I believe it's gonna be oh God, it was heavyweights last week. So probably flashbacks or veterans this week uh, more than likely Now for flashbacks or veterans. You guys know the deal. You guys know how that works right now heavyweights I don't remember what overall they were this week. I believe they were like a 90 something uh, So I don't know if they'll go up an overall. They'll probably just match Although I think they should be going up an overall because it's kind of annoying if they stay at that lower overall so for the newer ones, they were, let's see here, they were 90 overall. So, I mean, I, I'd assume flashbacks would follow the same routine as they had a 90, although I think they should go up to 91s. But more than likely, they'll follow the same overall. Aside from Wildcard Wednesday, guys, I do expect 
uh, the part two of the scare, uh, the most fear promos come out on Wednesday. Because again, this has always been my format. I always expected it to be Monday part two. Sorry, Wednesday part three is what I was trying to say, and Friday part four. Now that would make just that would make sense because right today's uh, Sunday on the twenty fifth. So part two would be the twenty sixth, part three would be the twenty eighth, and part four would be the thirtieth, which would be leading right up to Halloween, which is when we get the enraged players and all other stuff that we typically see. And up to Halloween, of course. It would make sense. And of course, typically, I don't think the parts would go after Halloween. Part four would be the only one I could see going after Halloween because that because the promo does end technically the seventh. Um, so we I have seen post seasonal pro parts like that, like with Christmas and stuff. So we can't expect that. But moving on, so for part part Wednesday or part three on Wednesday, I can expect more than likely that would probably be scary fast. If anything, if they if they if they're not doing like a scary tall section, then scary fast can be Wednesday. Unless they want to push that all the way back to the end, which would really suck, but you never know what the but we can expect scary fast for that day. Let's slot that in. Now coming up to Thursday. Thursday we have our Thursday LTDs, as per usual. Now for the Thursday LTDs, uh, guys, we're just gonna get you know we get, to, we get the two random LTDs. Now the overalls that we're up to though, let's go check. I do believe we should be in line for another overall increase. I'll check out those cards specifically, but they never really, it's not my, my favorite day of the week. But on the bright side, those cards typically are kind of cheap. Like, they're not ever crazy. Marlon Humphrey was this week's at 92 overall. So, I forget how often they go up. Kind of cool if we can go up another overall to 93s and get some really overpowered limited time edition cards. Oh, uh, limited edition. Limited time edition. That sounds weird. Limited edition. Anyways, moving on from that, guys. So, that's it for Thursday. At that point, that's like our off day. You're getting probably a lot of solos done at that point. And we got Friday. Now, Friday is going to be more than likely most feared promo part four and the 50 now for the 50 we are at um i believe we were at 92 overalls right now let's go check it out because that's i believe lt was a 92 overall which means this is our last week at 92 overall so i believe we go two at a time so the week three was 92 week five i'm sorry week four is 92 week five is 92 and then week three was 92 and weeks one and two are 91 so it, it seems likely that we're going to be getting our increase. So like, let me go to 93 overalls now. I don't know who we're gonna get. It could be a Moss. It could be some crazy players. Just remember, like Steve Young could be Moss. It, there's a lot of players like that are top 15 month that we haven't even gotten yet. So Brian Finnerin. I don't know who we're gonna get, but they're gonna be 93 overalls more than likely, which is super great. And the thing also as well is we're gonna be getting most feared promo part uh, four. Now I don't know what that could be. It could be scary tall. It could be a batch of LTDs like a starting from Friday through Sunday. It could be special edition enraged players. It could be just something as simple as a new solo sequence. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like another solo sequence just with extra rewards or an extra chance at some potions. It could just be a house rules. It, you know what I'm saying? It could be a set. It's not, it doesn't have to be crazy. I remember Christmas, we had all those parts of Christmas. We had the future, the past, the present, all that stuff, the presents. And then part four, we, were, we thought it was gonna be this banger in, which means something stupid like, some exchange sets or something like that. I, I remember that was kind of horrible. We all stacked up like presents or snowflakes, whatever it was, in case there, we all thought there was going to be more presents and there wasn't, which kind of sucked. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video of the Mutt Weekly Forecast. Again, we know what comes on Saturday. It's just going to be Legends, not too much to go over there. Legends is going to just be the two Legends we get and then of course the LTD ones. I don't know exactly um, who we're going to get. You know, you can't really predict those. Now we are at 92 so i think next week is going to be the 93 overalls for the base legends so 91s we do how many one two three four one two three four six we have six 92s i believe so one two three four five six and coming on down one two three four five okay so yeah it's definitely time to go up to 92 uh, three overall so we're gonna be getting 94 ltds more than likely which is kind of crazy guys that's gonna be some great cards that's what's good about legends this year they are keeping up to date and then, of course, guys, for Sunday, all we're going to have is going to be the surprise LTD, potentially, if we do get one today, or we start next week. I feel like they're going to do it, because last year we did get Le'Veon Bell, Calais Campbell, and Dante Hall, surprise Sunday LTDs. Uh, surprise drops don't hurt anything. Again, they are a little behind again this year, so I don't know if that's going to be out of the... I don't know. I'm not an option, but regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the noni bell. Come join the Poodle Squad, guys, if you want to be uh, shouted out. All you got to do is like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and turn on that noni bell. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Take advantage. Use code Poodle 15% off. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.